Welcome to our series featuring the audio edition of my book, Iris After the Incident, narrated by Rachel Coates. A playlist with all the chapters in order is on the Romance Class YouTube channel. And head over to romanceclassbooks.com for more romance by Filipino authors. Content warnings are mentioned in Chapter 1 and are included in the description for this video. Chapter 16 Viscosity is how thick and sticky a semi-fluid thing is. I know this now. I know this because I was sitting cross-legged on my couch, facing Gio, asking him to explain chemistry and cosmetics, how one decides to get a degree in chemical engineering when the family business was going to keep him wealthy anyway. Because I don't like them, he said matter-of-factly. I don't like my family either, I told him. There were differences in our runaway situations, though. I preferred that we talk about the chemistry. He lit up in a totally different way whenever I asked him about it. At the time that I came in, they just started the in-house manufacturing and wanted an all-natural line. Manolo's been working there for years, but in marketing and with the import subsidiary, he can't be bothered to attend the seminars and conferences he'd need for anything regulatory, and I was into this anyway. I know they had to work on this a lot because we weren't sure about the dry rate, never worked with this kind of film before. It didn't take much to let him continue at this. And before we knew it, it was an hour of pigments, adherence, formulation, long wear. You're, you're not bored? Are you kidding? You're good at this. But you work where you work and you're interested. No one else I know is interested in this. No one else asked an attractive blue-eyed boy to explain viscosity to them. And why not? Why hadn't anyone else ever wondered why lipstick felt the way it did when it slid across her lips? I uncrossed my legs and rose up on my knees. Between us was Bella Marielle Lipstick 843, yet to be given a sassy feminine name, and I popped the cap off the tube, twisted it to push up the bullet-shaped product inside. It was a darker red, something I probably would have chosen for myself, Something I'd wear on a night out, when I still did that. It was a subtle red, though, because, as Gio explained, you couldn't use some pigments if you were going for certain types of certification. Certainly not the kind of red that's obtained from crushed insects. Placing one hand on his knee to steady myself, I brought the tube to my mouth and applied 843, bottom lip first, generously, then swept through my upper lip twice, imagining myself in front of a mirror. The lipstick felt creamy and smooth, welcome because I was always a drink away from feeling chapped. It smelled fruity. There was something mildly cool about it, too. Is there mint in this? I asked. Gio straightened up, and it was a shorter distance now to my mouth, and he kissed me, tasted it for himself. I didn't allow him a light peck, though. I made sure the kiss lingered, and he got to taste lipstick and lips and tongue. He pulled away and laughed softly. <laughs> yes, I can confirm mint. His lips and the side of his mouth were streaked with it now. You're right. This thing doesn't adhere very well. Gio began the adorable and futile task of rubbing lip color off his face without knowing exactly where it was, and I swatted his hands away to do it myself. The red on his face was a map of my favorite nipples, apparently, from the smear on his lower lip and right underneath it, the corner of his mouth the spot on his jaw halfway to his chin. Rubbing it off with my thumb wasn't working. All it did was spread it around thinly, like a modest blush on the lower part of his face. Let me guess, I said. Something to do with the solvent. That's meant to stay on skin, Gio said through a smile. There's some level of resistance to natural skin oils and sweat. Great. This'll have to stay on you for a while. You know what it doesn't have as much resistance against? What? Saliva. I think I have a delivery device for that, I said. And I started with the corner of his mouth, the one I inexplicably liked. If lipstick was all over his face, then it had to have been all over mine too, but he didn't say anything about it, didn't pause to have me wash up. Those precious minutes were instead spent getting naked, getting ready, getting safe, getting inside me. We hadn't even moved to the bed, and we're still on my couch, figuring out how to do missionary on the cramped space. But we figured it out. What I liked most about him being on top was I got to watch him, 
Watch the tension in his arms, his shoulders, the way his hips, his torso, his entire body worked for his pleasure and mine. He was hot, and one of the best ways to cap an hour-long discussion on chemistry, in my humble opinion. Which date are we on now? I struggled to ask. <laughs> what are we supposed to be doing? I don't even remember, he admitted, distracted by his own thrusting. I, I don't care exactly what this is. My legs wrapped around his waist, bringing himself closer, tightening the connection between us. I pushed his shoulders back so I'd still get a view, still get to see the effect of our joining on my body. I wasn't even sure when I came. At some point, I'd closed my eyes and lost sense of time, and missed several beats, missed seeing the exact moment when he climaxed, so the rest of my senses had to make up for it, heard it, felt it. His weight on top of me, as he recovered, was a comfortable kind of heavy, anchored more than suffocated. You're everything, Gio said. You're intelligent, and you care, and you listen to people. You're everything. It was sudden, and it surprised me, and I could do nothing but blink at him. He lifted his head, kissed my forehead. That was chapter 16 of Iris After the Incident, narrated by Rachel Coates. Text and production copyright by Mina Villasquera. For different aspects of this book, I asked author Six de los Reyes for advice and also confirmation that certain things were correct. Do check out her book, Field Guide, Love and Other Natural Disasters. Link in the description.